Hi and welcome! In this Python tutorial you will quickly learn how to carry out the man with new u test in Python. First however, you're going to briefly learn what the man with new u test is and when to use it. Of course, we're not going into details about this test as the focus here is on how to carry out the man with new u test using Python. We're going to use two Python packages, SciPy and Penguin. This means that you need to install these packages to follow the examples in this tutorial. Don't worry, I will soon show you how to install these two Python packages. We will also use pandas to import data. So have a look at this video if you need to know how to install pandas. Before we continue, I just want to add that there are useful links in the description below. For example, you will find a Jupyter notebook containing all the code examples in this video. A link to a blog post explaining more about the Man Whitney U test and how to carry out this test using Python. Among other useful things related to this video. Oh, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. That said, let's start by making sure that you have the Python packages we need installed on your computer. Okay, now we're going to install SciPy and Penguin. Uh, we're going to uh, use Conda, which is Anaconda or Miniconda's uh, pack ma package manager. So first we're going to uh, start up Anaconda prompt. Um, so when we have the anaconda prompt started we're going to type conda create and uh, man w so we're going to create a virtual environment here in which we're going to um, install the python packages in activate man w so now we're going to install SciPy and Penguin. So Penguin uh, is actually depending on SciPy. So whether we install, uh, only want to use Penguin, we will have to install SciPy as well. So uh, with Conda, we type Conda install, C Conda Forge and Penguin and we, we will also install SciPy. And this should now install uh, SciPy. So it's solving the environment. Uh, so Penguin is a really cool Python package that we can use for many types of data analysis. We can get uh, use the use it for the t-test, the independent samples t-test, the paired samples t-test and so on. We can carry out ANOVAs and all that kind of things. So, okay. Now SciPy and Penguin are installed and we can continue by talking a bit about what the Man with the U test is and when to use it. The Man Whitney U test, which is also known as the Man Whitney Wilcoxon, the Wilcoxon rank sum test, or the Wilcoxon Man Whitney test, is a non parametric test. This test is not dependent on the assumptions that your data is normally distribution, distributed and can be used to test whether there's a difference between group, two groups. We can use this test when our data is not normally distributed or is on an ordinal scale for instance. If you're interested in knowing more about the assumptions of this test, the hypothesis and the, how to interpret the results, check this blog post out. You can f also find the link in the description below. Now we will fire up a Jupyter notebook and import some example data to learn how to carry out the man with new test in Python. Okay, to start uh, a Jupyter Notebook, you type Jupyter Notebook uh, in the Anaconda prompt, for instance. So now make sure that you have Jupyter installed as well in this uh, virtual environment, and then you hit enter. Okay, 
we're now ready and we have the Jupyter Notebook started um, we can start by importing pandas as pd as we're going to read the data using the read underscore csv method and here i'm going to paste um, a path to the data file which is man wu.csv so we can have a look at the data by typing df head and we will see here that there's only two variables x and y so the next thing we're going to do is to import uh, from scipy stats import man with the u and hopefully i didn't do a typo there man with the u and we have to select the x column and the y oops the y column y and uh, like this and if yeah of course uh capital X and Y's and so like this and we can see here we get the statistic which is the U statistic it's 81 and we get a p-value which is smaller than 0 0.05 so it's statistically significant <coughs> in the next example we're going to use uh, uh, penguin to carry out a man with the u test in python so from penguin import m double w u and we do the same df x df and select y and i will see you will see here that we get a different value we get a different p value here. That's because the man with the u function from scipy is carrying out a one sided t test. So we have to add the parameter tail and add the string here one sided. And we will get the same result here as well as we will get. Uh, something interesting here so common language effect size if we want to so we get a bit more information and we can see the tail here that it is less so that the x value is less than the y value so that was it i hope you learned something and if you did please share this uh, video on your social social media accounts press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if there is something you want me to cover in a video please let me know in the in the comment section below and also if you feel like it become a patreon by hitting the link in the first comment by me take care